Do you have these weird looking things in your mouth? They can either be on the roof of your mouth or on the bottom under your tongue. Are they bad? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about tori or tori bone and to let you know that they are not bad. They are just bony growths, bony extensions found in some people's mouths. So like, no, not everyone has them, but yes, if you do, you're fine. It might just be super uncomfortable when you have dental x-rays taken. We try our best to angle the x-ray sensor so it doesn't hit that bone of yours, but sometimes it's inevitable, so we all just try to do the best we can. But back to this video, more about tori. So depending on what literature you read, studies show that tori may occur between about five to 40% of the population. So <laughs> either a little or a lot, you either have them or you don't. The mandibular tori are on the bottom, those are the bottom ones under your tongue. Those are slightly more common than the palatal torus, which is the top one on the roof of your mouth. Some people might even have both, which makes taking x-rays super, super fun. Sarcastic. Anyway, tori in general tend to also be more common the older you get. And depending on the size of your tori, they may only be the width of one tooth, or they may extend all the way from the front floor of your mouth to the farthest back tooth. If you have small, tiny ones, you might not even realize that they are there. Small ones usually don't disturb normal activities, so your body is probably used to them. And the fact that their growth occurs so slowly over the years, tori can pop up without you even thinking about them. You might not even realize they're there until your dentist or dental hygienist mentions them or points them out to you. Or if you're about to look right now in the mirror after watching this video, you might be like, oh, I do have them. The larger your tori bone gets, the more likely you'll know that they are there. And the more problems that they can potentially start to cause. You'll often see a ridge-like growth along your teeth or a more bulbous area pop up inside of your mouth. And although they are not painful themselves, the amount of space that they can take up can put them at risk for injury while eating, right? Like you might be constantly cutting yourself on harder foods such as chips. And of course, if you bite hard on a dental x-ray sensor, we all know that this is an ouch situation. Also, depending on how large they are, food and bacteria can become wedged between the growths, placing you at risk for infections. So whether you've noticed if you have them or not, there are a lot of theories as to what causes them. Some include genetics, hereditary predisposition, past trauma to that area, bruxism, chronic clenching and grinding, misaligned teeth and jaws, vitamin deficiencies, environmental factors, and a heightened intake of calcium. Most mandibular tori, the ones on the bottom, are bilateral. That is, they're located around the same area on both sides of the floor of your mouth. So if for some reason they are unilateral, only on one side, your dentist will probably may investigate further. We usually don't like things that are unilateral on one side of the floor of the mouth, especially if it hurts. It could potentially be something we don't want there, but again, bilateral on both sides, even if they're different sizes, super normal. As for the top, the roof of the mouth, that one is normal to be only one torus. But in all, if you have any type of tori, some things to look out for are injury. Like we mentioned earlier, eating and chewing different textures of food, if you bite wrong, you might cut the gum tissue around your tori. Or you might also constantly hurt or irritate your gums over the tori from everyday activities like brushing your teeth. Another complication can be an infection. If you're getting food debris and plaque bacteria wedged around them, it can cause gingivitis, infections, and or bad breath. So to properly clean around big tori, make sure you have a water flosser on hand and use it daily. Another thing is if you are missing teeth that need to be replaced, tori can make it complicated for dentures or partial dentures to comfortably rest in place. And lastly, for those with a large palatal torus, which is the one on the roof, the top of your mouth, depending on how large it is and the amount of space that it's taking up, it could potentially limit your speech patterns. The bottom ones usually don't, but the top ones can sometimes make it difficult to to properly talk. Treatment. The most common treatment for tori is the watch and wait option. Unless your tori bone is extremely large and it's interfering with normal everyday life, your dentist probably won't recommend any type of treatment other than watching it. Some exceptions are if they are severe enough, if they are really aggressively interfering with eating and or talking, or Maybe you're constantly getting injured when you're brushing your teeth every day. If so, surgical removal is available. There are laser assisted procedure options to provide a better and more pleasant outcome. However, the standard of care is to typically leave them alone if they are leaving you alone because mandibular tori almost always start to grow back after having them surgically removed. There is no way of knowing if there's a 100% chance 
either way. But if they are genetic and someone else in your family has had them grow back after surgical removal, there is a good chance yours would too. In all, as long as you're regularly seeing a dentist every six months, you're good. They are being checked at your routine cleaning appointments. All good. And having said that, if you are ever concerned about a new growth in your mouth and you're not sure if it's tori or not, especially if something is hurting you, always schedule an appointment to give yourself a peace of mind. You never want to just assume it's tori. It's always better to be safe and schedule an appointment if you're concerned. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and Tori! I have them. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh.